absolutely buzzing here on the uh, Case I H stand this morning. Behind me, the uh, new Optum is about to be unveiled, so uh, I'm going to get a good place for it and uh, see if I can find out a bit more about it. nine engine paired but four by two cdx drive transmission yeah which puts optimum power to the ground where and when it is needed by the way we've extended the range we have the 360 the 390 and then this bad boy here you're looking at the 400 series it's serious power but with all of the enhancements that we've had in this product it's fully under control this is uh an electric prototype um that we're showing here at agritech uh, for customers so today, if you're asking yourself, what is this and what can I compare it to? So this is a 130 horsepower Equivalent tractor. Um, it would be comparable to that 6M tractor that's right there, which is a 6M125, or maybe the 5M tractor, which is in the opposite corner of the booth. What makes this special is actually these batteries that power all machine. It's the Chrysler battery sushi. So today, as we think about this tractor, we actually have one of those batteries here in the frame. And that's really important because from there, we kind of have a base scape. And much like automotive, as they built a skateboard and put different top hats on top of it, it's the same concept here. We have a base skateboard where a customer can figure a machine, how many batteries do they need? You know, the batteries help with price points, getting into different price points or different run times that they need. So more batteries is more run time, but it may be a more expensive machine. You can actually put one battery here in the frame three more under the hood. That's how this one's configured. You can add a fifth additional battery on the right hand side here. So we're focusing this one really on the tractor market. You know, we're trying to bring back the agricultural market back into Cummins. We've been really focused on it in the past. And then having that structural nature allows us to become an actual member of the tractor itself. So there won't necessarily be a chassis either side of the engine like we're used to in most off highway or in on highway machinery. The, en uh, the engine and the oil pan become physically the link between the front axle carrier, the transmission and the rear axle. So we are integral to that piece of the tractor itself. So that's what we're going for. T7XD uh, tops out at 435 horsepower. It's using a, a new specification Cursor 9 engine. It's the same engine as we typically use in the T8. Apart from in a T8, it has a chassis around it. Um, on this tractor, it's structural, so the engine sum is the backbone. And we did that to keep the weight down and to keep the uh, width down to maximize the maneuverability. So making the engine as narrow as possible rather than having chassis frames running down the side. Of it. And so we expect the farmer to drive it to the field. Once the machine crosses the field boundary, which you know because of the GPS on both the tractor and on the tillage tool, uh, the machine is capable of executing a task that is defined by the customer, defined by the farmer, to be an autonomous action. In this case, we're doing tillage. So the, the farmer would unfold the tillage tool if it was folded up. Uh, they would exit the tractor, they would start up uh, operation center, John Deere operation center on their mobile phone. They would stand and make sure you're a, a, a few meters away from the machine. Uh, and they would be able to swipe the application to start the autonomous action on that particular field. The machine will then go on and carry on without the operator in it and go execute the autonomous plan. Whatever that plan was is defined by the operator. And when it's done, it will notify the, uh, the operator via the operation center that the activity is done, and it will come and park itself in a location in the field that the farmer defined uh, ahead of time. Uh, the question was, is there light or not? The answer is no. We do everything with stereo cameras. Um, what, level, what level of automation would you put this at? We, 
we, we don't have uh, prescriptive levels of automation like automotive does in agriculture, so it's uh, difficult to, to assign you know, the number. I, I think the reality is that in the field, it's fully autonomous. It would be the equivalent of a level five if you want to think about it in the on-highway sense. But we're not that on highway, right? Yeah, so. not. Okay. Welcome to the Deutsche Fast down here at AgroChemica 2025. And here we have our very latest launch, our new A-Series TTB. We've got an 8340 here with 340 horsepower. It's a new current from the ground upwards. We have a 12-ton rear lift and um, option 5 screw valves, hydraulic top link. And you can see the full width here of the cab. Around on this side, we can see our clean oil system where we have an 80 liter oil tank where the oil from the hydraulic system doesn't interfere with the oil from the transmission system. So there's no risk of contamination. And if we take a look back, we can easily see the Sigma Vision 4 host cab with loads of space. And we have an eye cluster terminal on the A post and we have an eye monitor 5 on the armrest. This machine was developed in a really strong relation with a, a group of farmers that we were used to meet uh, quite often over the years in order to really get their feedback, understand what are they need, understand better each and every day how they work and what, what's important, what are the must have for them. And here the must have, they are plenty, 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 but the main, main, main ones were about the comfort and were about the accuracy and precision of application. We call this the harvesting cab, but actually it's supremely suited to a sprayer cab. Visibility when you're spraying is absolutely crucial. The, the operator, the farmer, it's, it's about crop watching. It's about doing the agronomy while you're out there. With this cab, with the amount of glass space and the visibility, he can do all his agronomy from the cab. Honestly, I'm quite envious of who drives this. Um, for many years I drove a sprayer, but uh, nothing as, as good as this. So this is a beautiful machine to drive. 